Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about- Ugh. Why am I struggling so much to say it every single time? I swear, I don't know what's happening with my intro. I just don't know how to enunciate it anymore or I'm just saying it way too fast. IDK. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to apply each step of your skincare routine. This is something I get asked about a lot in terms of people not knowing like, okay, when do I apply my toner? When do I apply my serum? How do I cleanse my face? And honestly, with the amount of products that we have available in the market, I totally get why this would be like such a frustrating thing to try and understand because there's so many products that are recommended to use on your face and how are you supposed to know which exact pattern you're supposed to use them in? You can't, it's like impossible. So I'm creating this video to help kind of simplify it all for you, explain with some scientific research what order and how to apply your skincare routine. So, uh. that was supposed to be a burp, but oh, that ended up just being like a stomach ache instead. <laughs> Now for this video, I'm going to be talking about the four main steps that you need to have when it comes to your skincare. If you don't know what these skincare steps are and you want to learn more, go to the link in my description box below. I have a free course where I teach you all about the basics of skincare. So if you're new to the skincare community and you're like, um, <laughs> what the f does all this mean? I highly recommend you go and take that course. It's a lot of fun. So the first product I want to talk about is cleansers. Of course, cleansing is the first step in your skincare routine. It's very important to get all that dirt and makeup and gunk and oil out of your skin because she needs to breathe. Now there's two main types of cleansers that people will use. First, an oil cleanser and then a water-based cleanser. I want to talk about oil cleanser first. This is the process by which you use an oil to remove any makeup or excess oil on the face. I recommend oil cleansing for everyone who wears makeup on a daily basis and some people who don't even wear makeup love using an oil cleanser as well but the way you want to use it is you get your oil cleanser do one to two pumps evenly spread it across your hands and then gently massage into the face as you massage it into the face you will notice that the oil will start to break up the existing makeup and you want to continue gently doing that until you see everything kind of you know stirred around on that canvas you want your face looking like a monet painting now when it comes to oil cleansing you always want to apply an oil cleanser to your face when dry because because if your face has water on it and then you apply an oil cleanser, if you've ever seen like a makeup remover or something like that, you will see the water and the oil parts of it separate and you have to shake it up in order to get everything dispersed. The same thing will happen on your skin. If you have a bunch of water on your skin and then you go in with an oil cleanser and start trying to break everything up, the water is not going to react well with the oil and you're not going to get as effective makeup removal as you would if your face was just dry. After oil cleansing, you want to go in with your water cleanser. Now for a water based or a foaming cleanser, usually this is a cleanser that is activated by water. So you want to make sure that your skin's a little damp before you go in. With any water-based cleanser, I always recommend adding a little bit of water before kind of sudsing it up in your hand and then gently rubbing it across your face. Why did I do this? For me, when I use a water-based cleanser, I want to make sure that I'm getting in every crevice across my face, making sure all that shit is clean, but also not spending over 60 seconds cleansing my skin because that can be like really, really stripping to your skin and you don't want to overdo it and throw off your skin's natural moisture level because that's not healthy. All right, now that we've finished with the cleanser, I want to talk about a product real quick that's most popular in the skincare community, face masks. A lot of people have asked me, when do I apply a face mask and how do I do it? My biggest recommendation, apply a face mask after after you have cleansed your skin because you don't want to have your pores full of oil and makeup and dirt and then apply a face mask over the top because you're not going to be getting all the good ingredients all the way down deep into your pores. A face mask is only left on for like 15 minutes so you want to make sure that you're getting all those benefits. So with a face mask you want to make sure that you apply it after you cleanse. Now every single face mask is different so I'm not really going to describe how to apply a face mask because it could be a sheet mask, it could be a gel mask, it could be a clay mask, it could be an exfoliating mask. It, there's just just like way too many things out there. But what I will say is important that with every single face mask you use, make sure you look at the amount of time it recommends to leave on your face. I can't tell you how many times I've talked to people and they're like, yeah, my face mask says I should leave it on for 15 minutes, but you know, I left it on for an hour. Girl, contrary to what you may believe, leaving a good face mask on for longer than it's recommended, that's not good for your skin. Too much of a good thing is not a good thing when it comes to skincare. And when it comes to Twizzlers, as I have um, learned this weekend. <laughs> 
I was so sick. Anyway, I just want to add that in because you really want to make sure that you pay attention to what the label says because the company knows what's best when it comes to how long you should leave a face mask on your skin. After you're finished with the face mask, rinse off with water, but don't cleanse again. Cleansing too much in one day can really throw off the moisture balance of your skin and just be way too stripping and not healthy. A lot of times you can effectively remove a mask from your skin just by removing it with water and gently rubbing the face mask off. All right, now that we're done with face masks, let's go on to treatment. Right off the bat, I want to start off with a controversial statement because this is my channel. <laughs> Have you not watched any of my videos? I'm a controversial bitch. So I want to break down a myth that is commonly stated in the skincare community, and that is that it matters which order you apply your skincare in. Specifically, the major myth that I hear all the time, you're supposed to apply your skincare from thin to thick. T-H-S-E-C. Thick. Which basically means that your skincare routine completely depends on the texture of the ingredients. So the lightweight serums and essences and toners go before the more thicker moisturizers or SPFs or creams. Now this is based off of a really old study done by Dr. I can't remember his name. Since then, that study has actually been debunked and it's been proven that that's not the case when it comes to skincare ingredients. I'm including a link in the description box below to kind of Steven's Instagram profile. He's incredible, a uh, cosmetic chemist. He breaks down all the chemistry about skincare, but he shows some scientific proof that this is not true. It really does not matter which order you apply your skincare in, except for one specific ingredient, and I will talk about that. So stay tuned if you want to see what that ingredient is. For the second step, we have treatment. Now, treatment can cover a large array of products, but I'm going to break them down. The first being a salicylic acid serum. Now, I've talked about salicylic acid a lot on my channel. It's great for anyone who has really oily or congested skin if you struggle with blackheads or whiteheads or pimples, salicylic acid is amazing for you. Now when it comes to skincare ingredients, from a molecular level, <laughs> we get in scientific bitch, salicylic acid has the smallest molecules, which means they are able to get deepest into the skin. And for me, I personally like applying a salicylic acid serum right after I cleanse. That way the smallest molecules can get all the way deep into the skin and have nothing blocking their entry into my pores. So if you do use a serum that has salicylic acid or is focused on pore minimizing or exfoliating, I recommend applying that first as soon as you finish cleansing your skin. And the way you do that is just do one or two pumps in your hands, gently massage it into your face, and you are good. Afterwards, if you are the person who likes to use a toner, specifically like a hydrating toner, I recommend applying it next as well. Make sure you do it after you've applied your exfoliating serum or right after you've cleansed. And the best way I recommend doing this is just doing a few drops into your hand spreading it across your palm, and then just patting it into the skin. Like I was saying before, it doesn't really matter the order in which you apply your skincare, but for treatments overall, it's just a good idea, in my opinion, to use them after cleansing. They're lightweight, they're really easy to apply on the skin, and it's just gonna be a lot nicer of a feeling applying them before you apply a moisturizer. Now, if you're someone who likes to use an essence, I usually recommend using an essence after an exfoliating serum or after your toner. So you want to make sure you get every single drop in because that shit be concentrated as fuck, and you wanna get all the benefits. So. Similar to a toner, just do a few drops in your palm, rub it across your hand, and then pat into the skin. Now for the next step, moisturizer. Now moisturizer obviously is pretty simple, like you find the best moisturizer that works for your face. If you have oily skin, I usually recommend a gel moisturizer. If you have dry skin, I usually recommend a cream moisturizer, but whatever your fancy ass likes. Now with a moisturizer, what I always used to do is just rub it into my skin, rub, 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 and go really intensely. Like basically, I looked like I was trying to permanently mingle my face. But I've been really good about practicing how to gently, fancily put it on my skin. And one of the best recommendations I have is that after you've taken a little bit of your moisturizer and gently rubbed it into the skin, pat it into your skin, like so. Oh my gosh, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like a stereotypical beauty YouTuber. <laughs> just pat into the skin. And this is a recommendation I specifically have for people with oily skin, because a lot of times if you have oily skin and you put on your moisturizer, you're like, oh, I look like a grease ball. I promise it makes sure that your skin absorbs it so much better and you'll be looking a lot less greasy by the time you finish. All right, and for the final step, we have SPF or sun protection. Now to finally answer that question for you that you did have at the beginning of the video, sunscreen is the one ingredient that's proven to be more beneficial when applied as the last step of the skincare routine than applied before anything else. And I think this kind of makes sense. A lot of times sunscreens, especially mineral sunscreens, when you put it on your skin kind of acts like a 
shield. It protects your skin from sunlight. And if you're putting that on before you put on your essence or toner, you're really not gonna be able to get the benefits of those because it's kind of creating a shield on your skin. Now, it kind of depends on your personal preference. For mineral SPFs, these are sunscreens with zinc or titanium dioxide, the ones that are ocean safe that I've talked to you guys about before. I usually like mixing these in with my moisturizer because applying them afterwards a lot of times can just mean that you're rubbing your skin a little too intensely to get them spread across and you're going to get a pretty intense white cast which is why I personally like mixing it in with my moisturizer and I've noticed amazing results when it comes to sun protection because of that. And as the final recommendation for SPF, once you go in with your SPF, go in again. It's so, so, so important that you are making sure to take care of your skin by using sunscreen. Like 90% of your skin damage is responsible because of the sun. That dirty bitch. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, you just need to be really careful. All right. Wow. This video took like, um, way longer than I expected. I'm already at the 25 minute mark. Bitch, what? But I hope this cleared up some questions for you guys in terms of how to apply your skincare. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you want me to create more videos like this, kind of explaining how to use products, I would would be happy to explain it to you guys. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.